Hi, this is Choco Melonier. I live in Canada and I vlog about different things in Canada and I hope that this video helps you. In today's video, I will be talking about the second most reason, a common reason why a lot of people get refused their study permit applications or their visa applications. Now, this reason will have to do with, uh, in the first video, I covered approval funds. In this video, I will be covering insufficient documentation. So there are some documents that you need to fill out when you begin your visa application online. Some of them are generic. They automatically will come with the type of application you are doing. So you have to fill them out. Now, if there are errors in your visa application form filling, it could work against you. So you want to take your time to fill out everything and thoroughly go over everything and make sure that information you provided is genuine and clear and also easy to um, to follow as well. Now, if you also fail to submit an important document as part of the application, your visa application could be refused. For instance, the visa officer will uh, have to get documents on your to prove your identity. And most of the time, it, this will be a passport. They will ask you to submit uh, the first page of your passport, your bio page. They will also ask you to um, take scans or pictures, um, scan copies of all the pages of your passport where you have immigration stamps and visas that have already been issued to you. Now, if you fail to show all of this, it could also work against you uh, when in, in, in the latter stage of your application. When they do also verify your identity beyond this, they will ask you for other supporting documents. This could be a personal photograph, like a passport size photograph uh, to a certain dimension based on the application you're doing. You want to make sure that you use the proper specification of your photograph. Make sure you go to a photo studio that is recognized or has a reputation for doing stuff like this. If your photo is not up to the specification, it could hurt your application or the officer may flag this. Now, you may also be asked to provide extra documents as well. Some of these are called supplementary documents. If you do not provide these additional documents, the visa officer may refuse your application on the grounds of insufficient documentation. For instance, you need proof of funds. You also need to give them a purpose of your travel by writing a letter to explain why you want to travel to Canada. You also need to convince them beyond reasonable doubt that your intentions for traveling to Canada is just for the purpose of you traveling to do your studies. If the visa officer has reason to believe that you have not provided enough documents, they may use this as a reason to disqualify your application or refuse it. If you are coming in as a student, then you have to give them proof of your enrollment or proof of your admission. So this will be the proof, uh, the admission letter that the school issued to you. You're going to be attaching that. If you're on scholarship, then you need to show them proof of the scholarship you've received from the school. As this will go a long way to help explain the amount of scholarship that you have towards your tuition. All of this has to be submitted along with your visa application document as well. If you do not submit a proof of enrollment or admission into a school, and if you also do not submit proof of funds uh, in terms of your scholarship plus other funds for your personal expenses in Canada and when traveling, the officer may use this as a basis to refuse you. Now, in some situations, you may need to even show proof of your certificate to show that you graduated from a school and that was how you were able to apply for this particular new school in Canada. So if you have a bachelor's degree or a high school, you will need to provide original copies or a notarized copy of your certificate and your transcript. A notarized document simply means somebody of high repute, like a like a court uh, worker in a court, like a court clerk or a court admin or a lawyer, or it could even be an administrator from your school. It could be a cleric or it could even be uh, a pastor. Or it could be somebody of high repute. They just have to um, confirm that this is a true copy of the original document. They will stamp on it as well. And you can upload that. Remember, if you are doing this online, please check the requirements and see what you're looking for. If they need the original, then if you're doing it online, you're going to scan the original document and then you upload it. If your documentation is not sufficient, remember, this can hurt you. 
if you claim to also be married and you're coming with your spouse, then you need to show proof of this by providing some kind of proof to show that you are in some kind of union or with your partner. This could be a marriage certificate. This could also be um, a proof of your wedding photos and a proof of your common law. If you are in a common law, which is not a wedding, but you are with a person for a long time, you have to show proof. Remember, this is if you're bringing somebody else with you as a spouse. You need to show proof of your union with a person. If you're bringing in your child, you need to show proof that this person is your ward. It could be the passport of your child. It could be the birth certificate of your child. It could even be any document if this child is an adopted child of yours. Remember, the visa process here and the application is not an in-person interview. The visa officer is going to be reviewing your document as though they are interviewing you. So anything that they require from you, you need to anticipate that in time, ahead of time by knowing so you can give them exactly what they are looking for. Remember, insufficient documentation could be a reason for a visa refusal. And I hope this video helps you to organize your documents in terms of the primary documents, in terms of the supporting documents, and any other document that can make a good case for you. Thanks very much for watching this video. This is Choco Millionaire. Remember, you don't need more money. You need more wisdom. Wisdom makes life easy for all of us. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, and drop me a comment if you enjoyed this video. And share with your friends as well. Bye-bye.